we're here. Uh, I'm Natalie Kosciusko Morizet. I'm the Minister for Digital Economy of France. And I'm very honored to be with uh, Madame Minister here and uh, the impressive palace or the offices uh, of the ministry. And uh, she's in charge of the digital economy here in France. And can you tell us a little bit about that? What's, what's that portfolio look like and uh, what are you developing here? Well, first, this is not the first time I meet Rock Becks from next, next uh, last time it was in the chairman chair for the um, Internet Global Forum. And uh, this is always a very productive time, so I'm very happy to be here with him. Uh, I'm working on um, digital economy as a whole in France, which is both developing broadband access, for example, working on technical aspects of the digital economy, but also uh, developing the uh, internet society. What is internet changing to our society? Uh, are there, what are the new challenges we have to face? Um, like uh, uh, education to the internet for uh, young people to have access and to do it in a productive way, uh, creating jobs with the internet, um, creating um, social gain uh, from the internet. Well, that's my job. Yes, that's fantastic. And of course, I was honored to meet you there in Sharm El Sheikh. And we've been very fortunate in ICANN that you and your team, uh, Bertrand de la Chapelle, uh, your envoy to, to the Digital Society and Information Society and others, have contributed so much. Uh, and you've recently written a book that I understand is doing very well. Too, I'm not, my French isn't very good, I'm very basic, but tout bien, I guess it's are you coming along? So can you tell us uh, a little bit? This is a provocative uh, title to... Uh, Especially with this picture. Yeah. <laughs> well, the idea is uh, people to buy the book, not, they don't know exactly why, uh, then to read it and to discover things about serious issues, especially internet governance, because the last chapter of the book is about uh, international governance, internet governance challenge, challenges, and what, what are the, the good questions and uh, the fake questions, mm -hmm. and um, which also could we build together. Yes. And what are some of your greatest challenges or most exciting projects that you're working on here now at the Ministry for France and for you and, and helping Europe as well? Well, one of my big challenges is making people understand that Internet is not just about uh, broadband access or uh, maybe jobs or economic challenges, but is also about society. Um, which type of society uh, are we creating with the modern internet? Mm -hmm. um, what will be changing uh, in relations between people? What will be changing in democracy, in the way we practice democracy? Um, what will be changing in uh, geostrategy too? Uh, um, one of my big challenges is making people understand that. Understand mm -hmm. I'm not just a uh, minister in fact of the digital economy, I'm minister of the digital society. And I would like people to be more aware that things are changing very quickly. Yes. And you're, with your organization, one of the keys for the changes. You're very kind. You're very kind. And you've added a lot of value to what we do and your team. And one thing I'm curious, where would you like to see uh, internet governance and ICANN as a part of that go in the, in the future? And what do you think, what's your advice to me as a new CEO at ICANN? Well, I think we share uh, the conviction that internet can be a major um, uh, way to change positively world, the world. I mean, internet is just not just a, a mean, uh, it's also a new dimension. Mm -hmm. Things are changing very quickly, it's a sort of revolution, and this can be a very positive revolution if um, this is shared. Um, mm -hmm. If uh, we take time to take into consideration all points of views and um, share decisions. And I understand that um, evolution mm -hmm. you're leading right now in the ICANN, and we appreciate it very much. Well, thank you. And I know you're leading an evolution here in France because you're also known as being one of the real pioneers of Web 2.0 and social media in government. In fact, it's well known that you're one of the leading Twitterers uh, here in France. Can you tell us a little bit about what, what's that like to, to jump into to that pond and be a leader there? Well, my point of view is you don't have really specialized, specialists, we don't have experts of the internet. Everybody is um, looking for something, testing something. Um, and I'm testing right now the democracy 2.0 mm -hmm. or the republic 2.0 in France. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm trying to take with me more and more people into this experience. For example, I created 
um, uh, sort of university of uh, members of parliament here in France mm -hmm. from um, all parties, uh, uh, members of Senate, members of House of Representatives, uh, to, to lead them towards the internet, to, to give them the desire um, mm -hmm. to be there on social networks, telling them that now uh, citizens are becoming citizens 2.0. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the citizens, they won't meet anymore in the traditional places, but mm -hmm. those citizens expect them to, um, to be on the internet and to, to chat with them and discuss future or public policies on the internet. So, uh, one of my current jobs is trying to lead this change mm -hmm. in France and yes. I'm trying to lead it also by the, the example. Yes. Positive things you can do as a politician on the internet. Yes. So if we talk about, we think about this Republic 2.0, can you talk a little about what is... Uh, uh, <laughs> we'll let it work. One last That's question. Huge, yeah. Last question is, uh, uh, you're such a rising star here in, in France, a very young minister, and very dynamically leading and uh, bringing up so many concepts and bringing the, the public in and being online and, and pushing very progressive thoughts on the internet and elsewhere. Many people are, are saying, uh, the minister, uh, uh, that you could be uh, a future president of France. Uh, no, I don't think people are saying that. I know they're saying that. Well. In politics, <laughs> in politics, you must be aware yes. that people uh, saying this sort of thing are sometimes very enthusiastic uh, and uh, nice uh, citizens and um, very often just other politicians trying to kill you. <laughs> and, and I'm very aware of that. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. It's you an honor to be Please come back again soon. We will. Thank you so much, Madam Minister. Bye-bye.